Titles, Inclusive, a Microsoft Design Toolkit. Haben Gurma, JD, Disability Rights Advocate. A quote, I am pioneering, imagining, and advocating. My name is Haben Gurma. I'm a staff attorney at Disability Rights Advocates, and we work to end discrimination against individuals with disabilities using high-impact litigation and community education. She walks with her guide dog in San Francisco. Part of community education is informing the tech community about things they can do to make technology more accessible for people with disabilities. She rides an elevator to work. When you design technologies for the disability community, you do deepen your understanding of what it means to be human. About 20% of Americans have some kind of disability and the other 80% are temporarily able-bodied. A coworker touches her arm. So disability is something that can happen to anyone. And that's part of the reason why developers should prioritize accessibilities. My mother grew up in Eritrea. Many deaf-blind individuals can't get an education in Eritrea. We have more opportunities here in the United States because advocates have pushed to allow people with disabilities to participate and have full access to information. She attends a conference. Personally, for me, accessibility means can I gain access to information? I think contextual intelligence would be extremely helpful for individuals who don't have immediate access to visual and auditory information. Hobbin, first deafblind Harvard Law graduate. When I was speaking to President Obama, he was typing on the keyboard and I was reading on my braille display and he was communicating his words. Obama hugs her. I couldn't type a hug. I also wanted to have access to other information, like facial expressions. So I had a communication assistant who was relaying environmental information on my shoulder. Haben climbs steps to a dance studio. So yes, the body does become intelligent and learns to take in information. I do partner dancing like salsa and swing. A young man leads Haben onto the dance floor. And the partners who are leading the dance are able to communicate music and rhythm and movement through their bodies. Haben's partner turns her in a spin under his arm. It would be interesting to see how people who design technology can add more ways of using music and technology to communicate movement. Later, they sit on a bench together. He types and she reads his words in braille. They share a laugh. Another thing I'm interested in exploring is surfing. Hobbin stands on a surfboard, her instructor behind her. As a deaf-blind person, I wonder if there are ways for people designing technology to design ways to gain information about the ocean, about other surfers around me, so that I could have some kind of waterproof device that would allow me to know when it's safe to go off for a wave, when it's time to stand up. So there's so many possibilities. They sit down as the surfboard races onto the beach. My question to people who design technology is can you increase our ability to communicate emotions and make it easier for people to connect even more? This isn't for them, it's for you. It's for your family. It's for your friends and your co-workers. At the dance studio, a man types a message. Happiness depends on having good connections and being able to develop communities. Haben officiates a wedding. And if we can get technologies to communicate emotions and increase access to emotional information, I think we'd all be happier. The bride and groom kiss. Haben applauds. On the dance floor, Haben's partner gives her a hug. Titles. This is part of a film series created to build empathy and inspire designers. Inclusive, a Microsoft Design Toolkit. A Slanted Light production, Microsoft.